So basically, an educational process going on, and that is going. I mean, I'm going to be traveling all around Scotland anyway, um, and just finding out if people actually, police people, have to actually know that photography is not a crime, and therefore, yeah. it's not to be. What we would do in circumstances like that, I can just do it with an officer with 29 years experience, I would take every situation and we'd, we'd look at it on every... Now, uh, if uh, somebody's taking f f uh, photographs of uh, children in a playground, uh, you would... Yeah. You, 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 you don't have a, a blinkered view. You, you make a reasonable request and you ask to take yeah. why these photographs have been taken. And if it's a reasonable request, or it's a reasonable kind of thing. If if you're out in the, in the countryside and you take a fo taking photographs of, of the scenery, it's quite clearly there's no evidence. But if an officer has any doubts about what for, why the photographs are being taken, he's duly obliged to to speak to that person and to ascertain whether uh, what the photographs are being taken for, or on certain circumstances whether the person has given their permission to them for f photographs to be taken. Mm. Now that would. Uh, there are some situations where you have to. Uh, I'm just trying to think. In, um, I know as a football coach, uh, people come along and take photographs of my boys when they're taking, but they have to have permission to do that, even though they, you know, uh, it's a situation where they have to come to me as, as a coach of the football and say, "Do you mind if I take uh, general photographs of, your, of, the, of the boys playing football today for a newspaper article or anything?" So there are different situations where. You, you have to uh, get permission to, to do well, that. Well, yeah, that's down to the, uh, the, the, the sensitivities of the person who's yes, taken exactly. it. But this is one of the things that's becoming an issue. I know I'm going to be going round, mm -hmm. and I, I don't want to be, you know, um, told to stop. Because, for example, I came round there, around the back, and I took some video of, all right, of the space where the police cars are. Right. Yeah. You, again, when you're filming police cars, there is a... There will be a potential for a security aspect of that. Uh, we don't allow recordings of our buildings. Uh, or, uh, we'll, we're looking all the, all the time in relation to uh, the potential use that this might have for uh, terrorist purposes, if, if you can say that. This is one of the problems. Certainly. You know, because the, the PINAG photography is not a crime. Right? Anything you can see with your eyes in public mm -hmm. is, is deemed fair game. Everything. There is not a building or anything like that unless you you want to try and get into MI6, you know. Mm. But people have done videos and that outside. and it, It's in public, mm. so you can still take the video and the photog uh, photographs. But this is the sort of thing that I just wanted to address or bring up. Yes. Because... You can see why an officer would be curious as to why, or stop the person if they were filming the police forces, to inquire why they were doing that. Yeah. That's, a, again, we've got a process there. Yeah. You, you don't just go in... You know, uh, all guns blazing. You inquire what, the, and if it's a reasonable, mm. you know, uh, I would imagine that time the probably the person would be challenged as to who they were, uh, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a reasonable request. You, you you've got nothing to hide. You tell the person who you are and, and and the reason why you're doing it. If it's a reasonable request and it's a reasonable kind of thing, I, I can't see a police officer saying, mm. "Yeah, that's fine." Uh, Realise. You're doing it for a particular project or something else like that, then yes, uh, as long as you don't go into uh, probably not that it would get access to secured areas mm. or anything else like that. But you're right, what's outside is usually in the public domain, but you would always have a police officer look at it and say, We're living in a state where we, we always have to be security conscious, and so questions could be asked, uh, and if it's a reasonable, then mm. it's fine. Great, right. all right, that's great, that's great. Um, I know I'm got information that I needed to have. Great. Love Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, I thought it was something on the floor there. That's all right. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. That was a pleasure. No. Still cold. Right. Thanks you a lot. Take care now. And you, bye bye now. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.